sitting. So, you know, Maitland shows it in, 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 in standing, but we're going to do it in sitting just in case if something happens. So in, in Joe's case, um, since he's not complaining of dizziness, this is all you, you would have to do for um, VA testing. So let me have you look up towards the sky, just as far as you can, whatever you feel is comfortable. Is that about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. And since Joe's a big guy, um, I'm just going to hold for 10 seconds. And then come on back. Any problems with that? No. No. Any pain with that? No. Then you want to rest. 10 seconds in between. So let's just say I rest at 10 seconds. Now let me have you turn to the left for me, as far as you can for me. Is that it? That's it. Okay. What am I looking for here? Nystagmus. Yeah, bring in nystagmus. And any provocation of dizziness or any symptoms or whatever they might be. And then let me have you turn to the right. No wait for this one. What's that? No wait for 10 seconds in between. That. No, you do. You do. I'm just for time's sake. Okay. Uh, you want to wait. Good, good question, but you want to wait 10 seconds in between. And you want to hold the position for 10 seconds. And then come off and wait 10 seconds. Doing okay? So we, we already did, you know, some of part of our, our cervical exam. And, and that becomes the challenge, especially if someone does have a VA symptoms. They may have limited mobility. You may not be able to go through that mm -hmm. full rotation. So just take note of that. You know, just that it may be painful. They may not have it. So just keep note of that, and, and you, you just not, aren't able to go through his full range of motion of what they have. So you just keep note of that, and, and uh, especially if they're not complaining of dizziness or anything funny, feeling, facial numbness, difficulty swallowing, all those things we talked about in lecture then it, I'm not too worried, I'm not too concerned at this point. Yes? Do you turn away from the side of the side you're having problems on? You do both sides. Both Which sides. Which one do you do first? Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to do a differentiation because I really didn't provoke anything. So if I provoke, let's say I provoked his dizziness going towards the left. Okay, let's say he complained of dizziness. Okay. And he turned his left and he said, yeah, I started feeling dizzy. Then what I'll do is bring him back, rest about 10 seconds, and now I'm going to try and do my differentiation. So, what I, so I'll hold his head, and what I want you to do, Joe, is I want you to turn your body towards the right. Okay? So go ahead and do that for me. There you go. Good. And then I'll determine, okay, does that, does yeah. that increase, decrease, or what does that do to your dizziness? Okay? And so if that didn't do anything, didn't change his dizziness, what am I thinking? So let's say he turned here, positive, okay? I held his head, turned here, didn't do anything, didn't, didn't increase it. What's that? Yeah, I probably lean towards more of a vestibular issue because here I've, I've tried to control his vestibular system and I'm, st I'm stressing more his VA system. Does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to keep his, his vestibular system steady. Okay, so, so the differentiation only need, it can work is if they're having symptoms. Otherwise, what am I differentiating if they're not really having symptoms? Okay, yes? How would you differentiate with extension if that was Uh, you can't. Okay. <laughs> or can you? Can you, Jason? I don't think you can. No. At least I. I if you can figure out a way, great. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, that'd be hard. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's say, let's say uh, Joe is complaining of dizziness, and I couldn't provoke his dizziness. So now I got to take it a step further. Okay, I got it. So I'm starting at least aggressive. Now I'm more and more aggressive. All right. Oh, let's go. Let's go off the chair. Do you want to move the camera, Jason? Thank you. All right. So with this, Joe, you're going to have the patient come off the edge. All right. 
and so again, this is if Joe was complaining of dizziness, but I didn't provoke it in sitting. So now I'm going more aggressive. So now I'm going to go into extension. So relax for me, Joe. Just let me know if you get any of your pain, neck pain specifically. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to take him down. Keep your eyes open for me, Joe. Good. You okay? Okay. And there I'm going to hold 10 seconds. Doing okay? Okay. Then I'm going to turn to the right and just relax with my job. You okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I didn't quite rest 10 seconds in between, but you want to rest 10 seconds. So, the VA testing can take about 20 minutes, and you say, okay, have a nice day. <laughs> And that's, you know, part of the, the difficulty. But if, if you really are trying to, to rule it out, you know, you got to do it. Um, doing okay? And then going to the left. A little tight there, Joe. You feel a little tight? Yes. Yes, Joe's a little tight. Going left compared to right. And holding for 10 seconds. So let's say I went through each of those movements. Still didn't provoke it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put them into rotation and then going into extension. You okay, Joe? Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't have a VA issue, this will do it. <laughs> Again, holding for 10 seconds. So be careful with each other's necks. Same thing, we're going into left rotation. Doing okay? Yeah. And then taking them into... And coming back up. Yes, sir.